Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, guys, we're going to be talking about the photoelectric effect and, in particular, how the intensity and frequency of the incoming radiation affects the photoelectric effect. So, put down today's title, it's going to be the photoelectric effect, intensity, and frequency of the incoming radiation. Okay, so hopefully you've watched my previous videos on this topic in which we talk about the photoelectric effect. Make sure that you've watched that video before watching this one, otherwise it won't make sense. So we should hopefully be able to be aware that we have the idea that if we were to actually have a metal surface over here, here we have a metal surface, and if we were to fire, um, let's say, photons at the metal surface over here, what happens is the photons go into the metal surface and what happens is electrons which are um, inside the metal will gain energy from the energy of the photon and that electron will be liberated from the surface of the metal. And we end up with the following formula of HF is equal to phi plus the kinetic energy half MeV squared, where Me is the mass of the electron, V is the velocity of the electron, F is the frequency of the incoming radiation, and phi is the work function. But that's all covered in my previous video. So let's talk about it. What happens when you change the intensity of the light in the photoelectric effect? So here it is. What happens when you increase the intensity of the incoming radiation? Right, so the first thing to identify is let's talk about the term intensity. What does the word intensity mean? So if I was to increase the intensity in this room, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to put more lights up. So what happens is if you're going to increase the intensity, you're simply putting more lights up, putting more lights up uh, and this good example is going to be look, if I turn this off right now what happens is obviously I've reduced the intensity so I've reduced the intensity here but turning it on obviously I've increased the intensity so I'm just putting more lights up the frequency of the light remains the same so I'm not changing the frequency of the light I'm not changing this to a different light source so the frequency of the light remains the same so we're putting more lights up and frequency of light frequency of light remains the same, remains the same, remains constant. That's the key thing here. Okay, so look, let's say for example we've got some photons now arriving on our metal surface. Right now, here's the metal surface over here. Some photons are arriving onto it. Okay, so this is going to be low intensity over here. I'm going to draw the same diagram of again over here. So here we go. So it's the next diagram. So we've got the photons of light coming in once again. But if obviously if it's a higher intensity, there are more photons arriving per second. So right now, if it's a high intensity, so this one's high intensity, we can see that there are more photons arriving per second. So put that in brackets, more photons arriving per second. Okay. Right, so there we go. So low intensity, obviously, right now, um, there are going to be some electrons being emitted. So if there's an electron and the energy of the incoming photon is greater than the work function, the electron will be liberated here. But obviously, if you increase the intensity, therefore there are more photons which are arriving per second, and therefore there are more electrons emitted per second. So if more photons arrive per second, and each of those photons are greater than the work function, then obviously there are more electrons released per second. So more electrons released, more electrons released per second. Excellent stuff. Noticing, guys, obviously this is going to be solely dependent on if this is only if the energy of the photon, the E photon, is going to be greater than the work function. This only applies if it's greater than the work function here. Because if you increase the intensity, you have not changed the frequency, you've simply changed the number of photons arriving. So high intensity results in more electrons released per second. Easy stuff here. And that only occurs if the energy of the photon is greater than the work function. What about the kinetic energy? Well, look, if we increase the intensity, What's happened is that the energy of the photon remains constant. So when you're increasing the intensity, uh, the frequency of the light remains constant. So therefore, the energy of the photon remains constant. So what happens is the kinetic energy of the electrons remain the same. So there's no change to the kinetic energy, but there is no change to kinetic energy, EK of electrons. 
And that's because, don't forget, the energy of the incoming photon remains the same. Yes, there is more released, but they have the same kinetic energy. So there are more electrons released per second, but they have the same kinetic energy as before. So make sure we're happy with that. So there we go, guys. There's no change to the kinetic energy of electrons. There's simply more electrons released per second. Easy stuff here. Right, okay, so what happens if we were to increase the frequency of the light arriving? What happens then? All right, okay, so right now, what happens if we were to increase the frequency of the incoming radiation? So let's just say, for example, we have, um, we're just gonna shine um, ultraviolet light onto here. So let's just say it's UV light onto here. But if you were going to increase the frequency, don't forget we have radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays. And we're gonna go across the spectrum Hopefully you can see that as you go across the spectrum, the frequency increases over here. Okay, so over here, ultraviolet light, low frequency. Let's say we were to increase the frequency. So we're going to increase the frequency. So therefore we're moving along the spectrum. X-rays are arriving. So let's put that down. So X-rays are arriving over here. And this is going to be a higher frequency. So high frequency. Right, so the first thing to note is this. It's not the same as the intensity, because in the intensity question, you're keeping the energy of the incoming photon the same. You're simply just shining more photons onto it. But now look, you actually are increasing the frequency. So the first thing to note is number one, is that number of photons arriving remains the same. So number of photons arriving remain the set remain constant, yes, we remain constant. And then obviously the electrons in this case over here are liberated. So let's say, don't forget, you get one electron liberated over here. So you get the same number of electrons liberated in both. So same number of electrons liberated in both. So we have the same number of electrons emitted in both. So the same number of electrons are emitted in both of them, yes? The, and the reason why is because there are still the same number of photons arriving. There are the same number of photons arriving because the intensity has remained the same. As same number of photons arriving. Same number of photons arriving in this case over here. Um, but there's a key thing that will happen, right? But there's one change that will occur it's about the kinetic energy. Hopefully you can remember that HF is equal to phi plus EK, the kinetic energy of the electron. Don't forget our photoelectric equation here. So the incoming energy of the photon is now larger. So HF is now larger. So the incoming energy, so this photon coming in has more energy than the ultraviolet photons which are coming in. And therefore the work function is constant. So therefore, these electrons, obviously HF minus phi, you've got more energy coming in. So after you have subtracted phi from it, you're left with a greater amount of kinetic energy. So a greater amount of kinetic energy is going to be observed here. So you get a greater amount of kinetic energy here. So the key thing to note is here, but EK of electrons is higher everyone is higher so there you go guys if you were to increase the frequency what happens is when you increase the frequency the number of photons which arrive is the same but the energy of the incoming photon is greater therefore obviously if you have a greater energy of the incoming photon you therefore have a greater amount of kinetic energy left over once you have subtracted the work function. Therefore, we notice that the electrons are leaving the surface with a greater amount of kinetic energy than before. Easy stuff. And that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Guys, make sure you understand the difference between increasing the frequency of the incoming radiation upon the photoelectric effect. What happens is there are the same number of electrons emitted per second, but the kinetic energy is higher. And if you were to increase the intensity of the incoming radiation, Basically, you are simply shining more photons onto the surface of the metal. Therefore, more electrons are emitted per second, but the electrons have the same kinetic energy as before. And obviously, this only occurs if the incoming energy of the photon is greater than the work function here. And that's it for another session of Surrounds Dazzle Physics. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going. And good luck in your studies. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.